Secondary endosymbiosis is where a cell acquires a second cell that in fact already possesses an endosymbiont. Uh, typically, this is seen where you have a eukaryotic cell that's acquiring a second eukaryotic cell that in fact carries uh, particularly uh, and a plastid as its endosymbiont. And thus the original, the larger of the eukaryotic cell becomes a eukaryotic algae uh, and uh, the the former eukaryotic algae that has been acquired as a plastid uh, tends to degenerate uh, such that um, especially the nucleus associated with the um, plastid is lost. Uh, but the original situation where uh, upon the acquisition of the, uh, of the eukaryotic cell as a plastid, what you end up with is a cyanobacterium, which would be the chloroplast of the uh, smaller of the algae, uh, its nucleus, the nucleus associated with that algae, uh, which in turn is found within the cytoplasm of the larger eukaryotic cell. Uh, in most cases of this secondary endosymbiosis, this new cell nucleus degrades to the point where it's essentially lost. Um, however, in certain instances, it's retained, in which case it's described as a nucleomorph.